cancer tarot card messages of love. All right, so I feel like you are the prize, and um, yeah, for real, like, and there's some, you see, and there's true love coming in for you, like, lovers card, the empress, you're the one, then there's, you're, you're the main one, and there's true love out here for you. You're the main one. You're the like the empress energy. You are. The queen of queens, the king of kings, emperor energy. And you're so blessed, is what someone is saying. Or this is what you naturally are. I'm getting you're so blessed. And this is someone that is giving you attention. Like someone admires you, um, adores you. This is someone that um, they're very physically attracted to you. This person, they may have money in their pocket. Um, okay. Uh, this is like, a, oh my gosh, the queen of wands. Right now, this person is seeing you as hot attractive boss like um fear fiery okay they're so drawn to you this person is feeling like you belong to them okay cancer this person is feeling like you were made for them eyes all over you they feel like you are all theirs okay this is what this person they are all over you is the energy um this could be a past person too because this there's an energy where someone is feeling like they want to get you back they may be trying to talk to your mother. Your discovery card is this person trying to figure out a way to come toward you. But right now you're looking amazing, Cancer. Today is the Queen of Wands energy for you. Beautiful energy. Look outstanding, prosperous, healthy, very vibrant. You're putting in a lot of attention. You may be a boss-like energy too. Um, very victorious as well here. Leo vibrations, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay, very flame. And they're like... um flaming i don't know it's people like people look at you they want to come talk to you but they are also like afraid because of the f f like you're blazing hot you're blazing is the vibration so people are you know you, you know the sound of fire it's going vroom that's the energy you <laughs> you walk around with <laughs> i hear human it's reminding me of um the fantastic four and this one that can turn into a stone and sometimes this this stone of his body is like a flame that is your energy. This is like you're like, whoa, whoa. You have that heavy vibration to you as well. And a lot of people are trying to get in touch with you. Especially one. Um, they want to come around. They want to tell you their name. Someone may be released from prison or jail or some type of a lockup with this release card. And someone has been waiting for like for for your for your for your location, for your number, or to be released to you growth card because i hear independent because this person i'm telling you someone has been waiting this person they have been waiting to somehow get a chance to get close to you this is giving me joker energy something of a i'm getting a biker too like someone that rides a bike or something mm -hmm. queen of um, five of pentacles someone was also cheating i hear infidel I hear insure. Someone may be feeling like they spent money on you or time with you or something. Or um, they want to cancer in this love reading for you today. I'm getting financial stability though. Someone is feeling guilty, victim. Someone is feeling like someone took them for granted or took advantage of them. Um, someone may have had an affair with someone close to you, a relative perhaps, or someone you work around. I feel like you walked away. Because this person is lied to you, sheep. They thought that you were like meek or innocent and not knowing everything. Like exactly wisdom. Now this person is getting to find out that you are divinely intuitive. They, it's like they they feel afraid because they figure out they're saying that maybe you knew all along and you weren't saying anything. So this person is afraid of what is to come. All right, but there's a person that they don't want to be with you. Something about financier. Someone wanted someone to finance them. Someone may have taken away your person and marry them or you know what. And so they feel like you, they feel bad for you or sorry for you that you get left out after they took your person. Completion card. All right. But you know, karma, joy. I feel like your happiness is being restored. Yeah, exactly. Moon card. Mm hmm. Someone cheated. Someone was a hidden enemy or hypocrite to you because they were jealous of you and they were watching you. They were watching the time or money spent on you or the quality time. Someone was catering to you. And so they, they want, someone wanted what you had and they got it. And now they're feeling bad for themselves. They're feeling bad for the third party. They feel bad for you because there's like, they're like, oh man. But they, they regret, they, it's not a regret, you know, but they just feel bad. Despondent. They feel bad for you, like, oh, I took her husband, oh, I took his wife. So bad, I feel bad. This person is going to feel so sad knowing that I did that to them. That's how someone is feeling right now. I hear hypocrite, okay, with the completion card. Someone thought that you'd never be fine. 
someone thought that they were winning over you i'm telling you quest someone thought that they were winning over you because they they succeeded over you they got something from you victim yeah man someone thought that they took from you when you were you lost and oh you were the victim and this person they're laying with your person i'm sorry this is the message coming out today okay but uh, let's see let's see what's gonna happen because this is coming out for a reason it's giving me like you are still the main one with the empress card on the bottom of the deck you are still the emperor, the empress. You're still the chosen one. You're still the hot one. You're still the one that is most on someone's mind. For example, let's say this person that tried to take your person, they are lying there feeling sad for you, but your person is constantly having you on their mind. That's, the, that's a karma energy with this faith card. That's their karma. They don't even know. Like this person is constantly thinking about you. Rejection. Like no one can compare to you. But you are giving something about a father or a Capricorn or bias. You are giving cancer the energy where you're unbothered. I feel like I hear lucky. You're going after what is yours. And I feel like you have suitors coming in. You're chasing after your dreams is how I'm feeling like. Indistinct. Like so they, they can't, like I'm getting, they can't tell you apart. Grant. I hear Grant. Someone thought that every cat was the same. But yours, no. Yours was at the real. Your cat is an at the real cat. They never been in a spaceship like this before. They thought that everybody was the same. They thought that every spaceship was the same experience. Your exper your ride was a different ride. You took this person in a different, in a whole nother dimension, a different kind of world. Extraterrestrial experience is what you give this person. You rose them up. Ain't nobody can do it like you, but you you know this. You keep this a secret. You're like... You're like, it's okay because I know what I have going on over here. I know what my ride looks like. Right? So you took that per you took someone on a ride and they cannot stop thinking about it. Discovery. I know they want to come back to you. I hear hopeful or hopeless. This person also may have breadcrumbed you. Or at first they thought that they weren't going to give everything that they can give to you and hold back. But they are, they're so mesmerized by you. They're so caught up in your energy. I hear discipline. That they really, really, really want you back. Like this person, they're trying to figure out a way how to come back around into your life. All right, this could be a Pisces as well. I hear Juniper. So this could be someone with um, a secret, secret feelings for you. Also getting someone secretly jealous of you. Maybe someone in the workplace or someone watching you at work. And someone is thinking that you are their soulmate. Someone may be thinking that you took their soulmate or... Like someone that they are interested in, they see the person they're interested in watching you and giving you attention. So this person is watching you too <laughs> with the moon card, right? So you have someone watching you and someone that is interested in the person watching you, watching you as well. Because like that kind of energy, complacency. Mm. Oh my gosh, the five of ones, exactly. Like jealousy and competition, but maybe you're, you're not in it. You know, you're not taking part in this situation because maybe you're just becoming aware of it with the moon card. This was what was happening in the background. Competition, five, five energy. Like someone wanted to keep you stuck as well with the number five energies in between two people are making a choice or choosing this and fighting over this, right? Like, but like, yeah, you see the separating line here. People trying to like pull someone one way or another, one way or another. But I feel like you're the type of person today, Cancer. Balance, exactly. You're the type of person today, beautiful soul. Where you're like, oh, I'm choosing me. You're, just, you're like, stop it. No tug of war situation. This is not yours to, to fuss over. This is mine. It's like you're giving these people a wake-up call. Because they were so obsessed with what, 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 like some your ship or the ride or your experience. That they forgot that you are actually standing there. So it's like they got even obsessed with each other right they forgot that you were right there you could be dealing with a water sign a fire sign and some earth sign gemini virgo energies one of these people though they were somehow malicious they just they wanted like you know they wanted body the ride the experience what you all can offer them and i feel like there is another that is most deeply into you intimately spiritually essentially this person really likes you and they they kind of were upset because they felt like the other person was trying to take you for granted so they were mad at that person because this person was like they genuinely care for you really yes they're attracted to you but they genuinely care about you and then they were really upset at the other person that was like, like coming around with some waste per waste man or waste woman energy you know just to like play games sweet talk you blah 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 i'm getting that kind of a tug of war energy despondence and so like yeah Mm -hmm. that's energy in your in your in your love um vibrations today ten of cups 
I feel like, like I said, you're recovering your happiness, your footing, your healing, your heart. You're coming out of isolation. You're like a butterfly. Something about the moon. You're seeing whatever was blocking you. You're seeing yourself truly. You're loving yourself. You're getting like this blockage removed, the cloud removed from in front of the picture so that you can see who you are. Love yourself. Get that light. Okay, beautiful energy. Your yeah, expansion. You're going to be moving out into the new enlightenment card. Yeah, this is some truth coming out as well um, about your people that's been fussing and fighting over your perseverance and um, you choosing yourself. Here, Ten of Cups, a new love coming around for you. You're going to be feeling so elated, happy over the moon, over the clouds today. Like, wow, oh my gosh, oh my goodness, something is coming true. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be realizing a new love, a true, oh my gosh, see, we literally just manifested it. That's new love, a true love, a soulmate that you're going to be manifesting. I promise you. And I feel like this person, there's been some delay. Maybe this person was to take a flight, and then you did, you couldn't hear from them for a while. You were wondering what happened, and then they turn up. That's the re that's that's going on for you today. I like a real true love. I'm getting a butterfly energy with this renewal card. Someone may be taking flights to see you, booking flights. Yeah, exactly. Like someone is are taking a big bus or a big train or something to come and f see you and they're gonna be so happy this could be like oh my god the joy card they're gonna be really really happy this could be someone you're meeting face to face for the first time is the energy the ten of swords oh my question quest um the ten of swords is um that some dark depressive feeling how we have the ten of swords and the ten of cups on the and the yeah, vanity and it's giving me going back to choosing between two energies because i feel like there's a two-faced person perception out here someone that can switch up their energy on you all right so be mindful of that and that could be your energy as well with this moon card i'm hearing devil someone does not want you to persevere to carry on to figure out the truth and to break into the new it's like all right so imagine um tangled tangled was in um the tower i heard the elevator someone was watching someone in an elevator or someone was watching someone elevator go up so imagine tangled look at this imagine tangled was in her tower and she found out some truth and she got really happy. You know, um, Rapunzel, right? And she was like, oh my gosh, I can really go outside. It's like she found a way. Ten of, that, ten of cups, right? She found some happiness. But the person that was trying to handle her, right, this witch energy, tried to come and bring her, like, some dark news. I tell her that it's not possible, but it's actually true. You know, what she saw something like, you remember that part when she saw the, um, the lights in the sky? Ten of cups energy, right? Um, and she was like, what if she was thinking that whatever she was hoping for was real. But remember, you know, I'm getting chills. Remember now that when she saw the lights in the sky, it's because way in the distance, it was her own true family and love sending up. It was literally her birthday. And every birthday, they send up lanterns. But she didn't know exactly, but spiritually connected to her. So when she was having those special connections of seeing life for the first, for real, and feeling connected, and feeling like, yes, there's something out there. It's time for me to come to a breakthrough. I need to go discover this. Then the witch came in and tried to dis, you know, discourage her, detour her, set her back, tell her that the lanterns are whatever. It's for bad people. Don't dream too much. Don't go out there. Yeah, mysticism and someone with the moon card, someone is a hate, hate hater and they don't want you to speak up. This is a person don't want you to have any type of a breakaway or breakthrough. I look, someone is also someone has a deep crush on you, insecurity and creation. Someone has a deep, 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 deep crush on you. Okay, let's see for real. And they don't want to tell you <laughs> wisdom. The death card, oh my god, transformations. Someone, you're going through a butterfly transformation, growth. You're going to have more money to spend as well. You may be breaking free, walking away, recovery. You're going to get back some things of yours. You're getting back balance. You're getting money. You're getting health. You're getting your life back. You're going to imagine now when Tangle, Tangle leaves the tower, but not with the prince in this case. She leaves the tower and she gets a break to go outside on her own, to go solo travel, solo soul, soul searching and all of these things. So you're getting some type of a break. You're getting like resources and support that will support you um, fi finding out more about yourself and coming out of isolation. But be mindful, it is a trick, you know, that was set up by this dark witch energy. Exactly. So that you'd come up on a roadblock in Pascard and feel even more afraid to go out there because someone wants you to run back to them. I can't believe we're still talking about this right now. 
right with a capricorn energy someone doesn't someone does not want you to move on into real love i'm telling you expansion in the reverse because this person is feeling like they cannot do without you in 